Over the years, I've often been asked how or why I use Loopback, the software from Rogue Amoeba that allows you to make your own audio devices on the Mac. And I often think of Loopback as like one of those tools in your toolbox. I'm not really a woodworker or someone who actually goes into the toolbox that often until I forget how to hang a picture or whatever. But anyways, a tool in your toolbox I hear that you might spend a little bit more money on. You don't need it every day, every week, even every month sometimes. But it's one of those tools that when you need it, it comes in so very handy and it's worth having around even if it's not something you're grabbing for every day. I apologize to any actual woodworker tool using people out there for abusing that analogy. So what I was doing was I have a client, we talked about doing a summary episode, they hit episode 100, and we wanted to like recap some of the highlights of their past 100 episodes. Tomorrow.fm, you can go listen to them if you want. Great sort of tech, businessy uh, podcast. <laughs> but anyway, so I went through you know, their past 100 episodes kind of cataloged uh, some of the highlights or quotes or quips and recorded actually using a, an app called CleanShot, where I could actually just record the screen and the computer quickly and easily, and then embed that inside of Notion here as little clips. So um, that's a, maybe another topic for another video. But basically, I had these clips, I wanted to be able to play them back for the podcast when we recorded the episode, the 100th episode and uh, playback clips to them on the recording as well as then that would obviously be recorded and put into the podcast by me, the editor. And uh, what happened was we logged onto Riverside to record. So this is, they use Riverside as many of my clients do. I logged in, had my camera, my microphone, all, everything set up, but they couldn't hear the playback because screen recording tool in Riverside allows you to capture, say a screen or the entire computer, for example, if you wanted to, but I was just trying to share the screen or the app that I was using, in this case, Notion. Notion isn't recognized as a default kind of audio playing app. And so it didn't show up and they weren't able to hear it as a thing from Riverside. So uh, rather than like crap, we're screwed or whatever. So rather than being like screwed and we can't do anything, I was able to open up uh, Loopback and quickly build uh, a sh audio device that I could use to share right from Notion. So in this case, I just added Notion as a, app it was running and so I could just add it as an app it doesn't matter that it doesn't normally isn't normally thought of as an audio app um, I needed to make sure to uncheck mute when capturing so that I could hear it still in my headphones and I'm, I don't have them on right now but basically make sure that I could do that and then uh, one of the co-hosts said that it was a little loud so I turned it down right here in loopback and then made sure to still include my microphone of course as well in the recording and so then inside of Riverside, when I'm going to choose my microphone, I can see I've got Riverside thing here. So it's a virtual audio device. And then basically that allows me to share anything that plays back from Notion to Riverside so they hear it. It's on the same track as my voice, so it's not ideal in that sense. I could, in a perfect world, I maybe would have audio hijack running locally so I could like record them both separately. Uh, but this is just kind of like a quick thing. And so then, Basically, when I hit play on here, it would get recorded by Riverside. They would hear it, and Bob's your uncle. We had a good podcast. So that's just one way that I found using Loopback in a way that I don't need it all the time, but when I do, it's super handy and saves me a bunch of like running around, rerouting cables, etc. So hope that helps. Leave a question, comment in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, and see you in the next video. Okay, now we're going to get into philosophical prime, so sit down and shut up! <laughs> uh, okay, so did anyone here know what the word worship means? Oh, yeah, we're doing it. What the it word worship the means? English, yeah, it, comes, uh, it comes from the old English term. No, enlighten us. Word. Why don't?